Hey, it's Cole here, Sega's Productions. No, we haven't had a video up in a while, but I'm putting another one up. My computer's been in the shop, so, yeah. Alright, now, this is an add-on to one of my other videos. Just had a fade photo edges, but that was only with white, and I'm going to show you how to do it with other colors. It's same concept, really easy. Now I'm going to use this photo, which is an awesome picture, I must say, taken by one of my friends. Um, I might put up more of her pictures later, if that's okay with her. <laughs> so, um, we're gonna do the same type of effect, just whenever it comes to the actual fading part, it's different. So we're gonna do the same way to select things, um, pull out our rectangular, mar or our rectangular marquee tool. I love saying marquee, it sounds, kinda, it sounds kinda fun to say. Alright, and then, uh, just go up to your, one of your corners and make a square. Square! Square! And make sure it's kind of even, like, make sure all your, like, the width between all the, uh, the, like, the, like, the selection and the actual photo, like, make sure it's kind of the same, otherwise it looks unprofessional. So, that looks about right, I mean, that one's a little bit more thicker than that one, but I don't really care because I'm not trying to impress anybody. Alright, then we're going to want to feather it, otherwise we're just going to have a sharp fading, and that doesn't look good at all. So, you can either go, yeah, you just right click and feather it. That's way too many. I don't know why I have 50 set up. Uh, usually around 20 is good. Um, but the more you feather it, the more drastic your turn is going to be. So if you were to put like really high, it sort of turns like a circle. So yeah. Um, Alright, now we're going to want to inverse it. And what is inversing? It's whenever it puts an opposite um, effect going around. Or like an opposite selection going around. Like... Right now, this whole area is selected. If I inverse it, it means it's only this small area right around here that I don't have selected now is going to be. So you're going to do that by hitting Control Shift I, or you can go up to um, Select Inverse. All right, that's Command Shift I if you're on a Mac, which I highly suggest getting. But I'm on Windows. All right. So what are we going to do now? Now we're gonna actually do the fading, the fun part. All right, now in my last tutorial, what we did is we just, you know, we hit delete and faded it. But sometimes you want to fade it with other colors. How are we gonna do that? We're gonna right-click inside the inverse area, so inside the selection that you just want to be faded. All right. oh, there we go. I'm sorry, guys. Can't my screen recorder makes my mouse kind of like blink. I can't really see it that well, but you can see it fine. We're gonna hit, click on fill. Alright, now you would have to, um, now you can, like, here's on, like, 50% gray, you can get black, you can get a white, or you can click color, and then it comes up with all these. So, say I wanted a ridiculously random color, and I want, like, neon blue, or this bright color. Then, now that I have that color selected, hit OK, I have now, like, neon colored faded blue. I'm not sure why you would want that in a photo. I'm I'm sure you'd think of a cool place to put it, but you know, whatever doesn't really matter to me because it's gonna be your photo. But yeah, so I, I just like to fill it like on colors like this. These dark photos, black. Okay, looks pretty cool in there. Well, I don't know. All right, so yeah, now if you ever see your friends with these cool photo editing things and they were like, yeah, oh, I was on Photo Bucket or. Yeah, I went to I went to some website and they just did it for me. You can say yeah, well I'm not lazy and I can actually do it myself. What now, fool? And you can go and you smack them. Much don't do that to your friends. That's mean. I'm not sure they would like appreciate that. But whatever. All right. So thank you for watching. Favorite comment message, all that stuff. I'm here if you ever want to talk to me. It's like to get some help on photoshopping. I'm not a busy guy, so. Got a pretty boring life. That's why I do this. <laughs> Alright. Go have fun with your life.